morning and all of a sudden it started to rain and then it was pouring why did i have to start like this don't you understand that my eyes can match with skies so we are currently on our way from indianapolis to nashville to celebrate kara and nate's 100th country Light the way. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Ooh, it's raining. All right, so if you don't know who Kara and Nate are, they are also a travel couple who might might deal with rain better than I do. <laughs> it's getting worse, and there's nowhere to hide from the rain right here. Like it's just blowing in all directions. It's getting colder. This is one of the bigger messes we've got ourselves in. And ended up traveling for four years to 100 countries and Kara absolutely loves coffee so first stop had to be coffee and because you really love coffee and because I like coffee too <laughs> really nothing to do with that <laughs> it's because I need it <laughs> since I decided to use my highlighter I've seen frowns turn upside down one of the things we're really excited about at the party is to meet a lot of other people that enjoy travel as well. So excited to make some new friends. Why can't we all be like this? Don't you understand? It's Mr. Sun. Also, I'm just so excited to meet Kara and me. I've really looked up to Kara and her editing skills, and I'm a little bit nervous, honestly, to meet them. I don't know what I'm gonna say. Like, uh, I like your vlogs. You're awesome. Can we be friends? Like, I don't know, really, I'm, I'm like honestly a little nervous. So it's been fun watching their adventures and I really actually started watching them. We were six months into our one year around the world and it was fun to watch like places that we had already been to and like their experiences in those same places or places that we were yet to go to. And um, just like us, they were budget travelers in the beginning. Anyways, I'm rambling now, but yeah, I'm really excited. I honestly, I feel like when Kara met Casey Neistat at the Shorties, that's how I feel meeting her. Oh. Happy that you're both. Will, will you be in our video? Am I in your video right now? Is Casey in the vlog? Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> Smash that thumbs up button. Please take care of Steve. Okay. Okay, good to see you. Sorry. <laughs> Fangirling fan hard right now. So cool? fangirling. No, you are not cool. Oh. <laughs> a little starstruck. Honestly, like I feel, I feel that way. Like it's just, I have never like had that experience before. They're still just people. I know. I know. And they're very relatable. They very are. Humble, That's what I love about them. Very down to earth, which is why people love to follow them. So. Yeah, and yeah, it'll be they, a good time. They have people coming from all over. Like. We're honestly probably some of the closest people coming. Like there are people flying in from Warsaw, Poland, and uh, the UK. Because I just think that's like so crazy. But we only have like a four and a half hour drive, so it's not not too hard at all. Although this rain doesn't make it very easy. I gotta have some Light the way. Can I drop you off here? Yes, please. All right, super nice. We got to check into our hotel early. We got a hotel near the airport, which is about 20 minutes away from the venue. It's currently 12:30, and we get we get to be there by two because we claim some photo op tickets, which means we get to definitely guarantee a photo time with Kara and Nate. So I took a power nap that was super great and as I was napping resting my mind was going I'm like okay I'm getting nervous about like what I'm gonna say to them and all of this and and then I woke up from my nap and I watched their most recent story and here I'll just show it to you. We're almost to the venue for a hundredth country party. Nate's mom 
sent me with a parfait. Julianne brought me coffee and beautified me and drove us to the party. <laughs> We're almost ready. We're so excited. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so when I saw Nate's face and just how, like, nervous he looked, and I'm sure, like, I can imagine being hit in his shoes, like, everyone that's coming around the world to celebrate with them and their accomplishments, but, you know, you want to make sure everyone has a good time, and you honestly cannot control that. Everyone has to decide for themselves, and so it just made me a whole lot le less nervous to, to see his face. Maybe he's not nervous. Maybe he was just deep in thought, but he honestly looked like he might be about to puke. I think that's one of the reasons why everybody loves Karen and Nate so yeah. much is because they're just so down to earth. You know, they don't mind sharing, like, you know, when they're feeling nervous or whatever and just showing that, you know, they, they're they normal people. Like, we're all normal people and they're, they're brave enough to share all that transparency with everybody. So, anyway, no, like... Yeah, I was telling Lisa, like, the reason we really enjoyed following Kara and Nate so much is because, like, when we saw their videos, we saw so many things that, you know, we kind of were like, oh, we'd share this in common. Like, if we happened to live in the same area and happened to, like, go to the same church or something, like, we would probably be really good friends. Right. Um, you know, because of distance that may or may not ever happen, but, you know, that's why I think so many people like them is because they could see themselves being friends. Yeah. Now, of course, you can't be good friends <laughs> with 750 plus people, so that's not happening. Yeah, uh, but yeah, they're they're really cool. They're a really cool couple. So yeah, and it's fun then to meet like like-minded people. So I just got a text actually from someone um, that I connected with in the Facebook group. Oh, and they actually have a YouTube channel of their journey from foster to adoption of a sibling group of five. And so super excited to meet them as we are about to step into that next step too. So it's just really cool. People that love travel, seeing Nate's nerves made me feel a lot less nervous. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks, Nate. So thanks, Nate. And if that we, wasn't even nerves, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe it wasn't, but it still made me feel better. So we're gonna order a lift now and get on our way. Sunlight to call the day a day. Oh my goodness, how do we get to see you right away? Hi. <laughs> Great to you finally out. meet you. Hi, how are you? Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. I, even if it's not us. the way it's almost time Like? It's like a million 
kind of like too much seasoning, salt. Okay, really yeah. salty. Yeah. Really yeah. salty. Well, if it's salty, you can't taste the shell. That is really salty. Right. It's not bad. As salty as uh, the cheese that we had in Europe. <laughs> Different. You should try it. Come on. No, no. I promise you it's not that bad. Oh my goodness. Okay. Honest reaction. See, it's not bad, right? Not bad at all. Not bad. Okay. Okay, I'm convinced. I'm convinced. I can try it. I can try it. You got it. You got it. I've never done like this. I promise you. Alright. Alright, here, get a picture. Here you go. Do you have the one that we took? Do you have the one that we took too much? Not bad, right? I gotta get you. Yeah. It's just really salty. <laughs> Did you get a hat? Yeah, I got a bandana. It's just salty. I think my wife's gonna try it. Yeah. Alright, right, now you can get the bandana. You can have it. It just, it just tastes like a really super salty snack. Alright, get the bandana now. Get the bandana. I'll get the bandana for that. I gotta try the worm. It's the last one. I tried the scorpion. I tried the cricket. You gotta try the worm. That's supposed to be the easy one. Yeah, no problem. How was it? I can't believe I just did that. Good job! <laughs> You're so brave. I'm like, I'm always the one on, on Survivor that's like, I would never do that. But you just did it <laughs> just for a hat. For my children. <laughs> to go see more countries, to be open to all different types of cultures that we didn't even know existed, and apparently to eat crickets and bugs that we didn't even know we wanted to eat. We were going to a book signing by an author named Chris Gillibo. Has anybody ever read any of these books? He's a big traveler. Yeah. Um, and he was coming out with a book called The Happiness of Pursuit, and Kara and Nate were in the front handing out books and greeting people. But without further ado, I'm so excited and honored to welcome to the stage our honored guest tonight. Please give it up for Kara and Nate.
first will be completely zipped with all the stuff in it wins the packing challenge. Three, two, one. You have always accepted me for who I am. You have encouraged my crazy dreams and plans. I love that you are up for anything, whether it's giving me permission to pursue my crazy business ideas, skydiving for our two-year dating anniversary, or agreeing to scuba dive with whale sharks on our honeymoon. I'm thankful that you'll be my lifelong partner and you always encourage my adventurous spirit. This was written six years ago. I feel like a lot of guys are scared that when they get married, their adventure will be over and they'll have to settle down but I learned a long time ago that you make life more fun. I love the carefree, fun-loving attitude you have towards life. I love that you get excited about 
question mark, question mark, question mark. I couldn't figure out what, what she got inside of me. <laughs> oh, the audio is too bad. I love that every sunset is the most beautiful sunset you've ever seen, and every restaurant you go to is your favorite one you've ever been to. <laughs> so happy on the videos that it's fake. Here's proof. This was six years ago at Chili's. It was the best hamburger she had ever had. It's pretty easy to see why I'm so lucky. You make life more fun. You make me a more fun person, and I can't imagine life without you. I know that our life won't always be one big fun adventure, but it, and at some point we'll go through hard times. And I want you to know that I'm standing here making a lifelong commitment. No matter what the future holds, we'll always walk through life's adventures together. And we have had more adventures in an entire lifetime than we ever thought we would. And I still mean every single one of those words. Aww. <laughs> All I have to say is the only reason that we're doing this right now is because of Nate. I know he just tried to give me the credit, and I promise we won't just do this all night. <laughs> he's the reason we're here. Like, it was his idea. He's the one who bought a camera, and everything is because Nate does everything else. <laughs> Literally. He plans, he books, he researches. We couldn't do it without each other or without you all. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now we are going to Roll what we have entitled The Last Vlog. <laughs> I can tell you what we do know. We've been we've been running at this goal of a hundred countries, like so focused on that that we just really haven't had time to think about what the next definition is for our channel. The one thing that we've really enjoyed over the last four years is having this hundred country goal to chase. And so we want to figure out what that next phase is for us. And we don't just want to jump into to something right away because we feel like we need to. What we can say is we thought we would be burnt out. Even at the beginning of last year, I thought we'll probably want a home base by the end of year four. And right now, neither one of us feel that way. So while we're figuring things out, we will continue to travel and make videos. It really probably won't look like very much change as we try to figure out the bigger question of what's like the next umbrella that everything fits under. Get yourself or set a goal that feels unachievable because that's things We've done it several times over the last four years, and at least for me, like when I set a goal, normally, like you can figure out a way to get there, even if in the beginning you can't see a path. So, Don't be scared to try something you've never done before. I've been like a nervous wreck for the last two days leading up to this, and I think like really at the core, it was because we didn't. I didn't. I felt like everybody that was coming liked us, or you wouldn't have been coming. And I didn't want to be a disappointment when you got here. So hopefully, hopefully everybody's enjoyed it. Woo! And when we get home, my wife says, "Oh my gosh, they've got another one up. I've got to watch it." And I've met some people here tonight that have just absolutely, you know, just love pulling up the uh, reviews and everything else. So. We thank you for being real and loving. We love you, Karen. Thank you so much for being here and making this the most special night of our life. Yeah. Thank you. when they said we're gonna actually travel for a year. I was happy for them. Uh, of course, I had no idea neither, neither did they that it turned out to be something like this. And, uh, Nate's very cautious and protective. Kara is not cautious. Uh, but I felt like, I, to this day, I don't really worry about it. Kara's a dating group. Like, it was so fun tonight, uh, meeting lots of new friends. And yeah, thank you, Kara and Nate, for putting this on. 
it's just for being yourself and yeah, encouraging so many people to get out of their comfort zone. It's great. Yeah. Appreciate you guys. by this van in front of us. So it says trips to Mexico, um, between Mexico and the US, and it lists all those um, cities that are listed that are in the US, I believe, are in Texas. But it's a Tennessee license plate, but we're up in Kentucky, so I just don't understand that one. Number one! 